Hello, my name is Katinka. I'm a third year medical student at Queen's University, Belfast, and today I will be walking you through the science behind a vaccine. Our learning objectives for this session will be to first of all give you some background into what vaccines are and the science and rationale behind them. Then we'll be moving on to looking at how vaccines are made and why they are so important for our health and safety. Then thirdly, we'll be giving you our best tips and tricks on how to tackle a question on the topic of vaccination. Then lastly, we'll be summarizing with the key points and the key takeaway messages for you after this session. So now what exactly are vaccines, you might wonder. Vaccines are inactivated pathogens and they work by introducing an inactivated pathogen or a tiny part of a pathogen into the body. That pathogen will trigger an immune response very, very similar to that generated by a natural infection, however, without giving you the symptoms and signs of infection. Hence, vaccines will lead to the development of natural antibodies against the targeted disease, and hence you're gonna get artificial active immunity. So it's gonna be immunity, but it's not gonna be immunity that you've developed through natural infection, but it's gonna be artificial. Now, moving on to our next learning objective, looking at how vaccines are manufactured and why they are important. So how are vaccines made and administered? First of all, there's different types of vaccines. They may contain a live microorganism, and those are called live vaccines. There could be vaccines which contain a dead microorganism or an attenuated microorganism. So it's the pathogen that causes disease in normal humans, but this time it's attenuated in order not to cause disease in the vaccinated people. Or it could be a toxin or some surface antigens specific to those to that particular pathogen. Then in terms of administration of vaccines, they can be given through an intramuscular injection as in, in our arm over here, or via oral ingestion, such as the polio vaccine. The COVID-19 vaccines range from RNA sequences coding for proteins of the virus to surface antigens or attenuated microorganisms, depending on the manufacturer of the vaccine. In terms of effectiveness, some vaccines may only require one single shot to give lifetime protection, while others might need boosters to stim stimulate further immune responses. So it just depends on the type of vaccine and on the kind of immunity that you develop to it. Now, looking at the advantages and disadvantages of vaccines, because this is a very, very hot topic at the moment, vaccines are an easy and safe way of immunizing the population against de uh, different deadly or very severe diseases such as COVID-19. On the other side, Unfortunately, some people may not develop an immune response to the vaccine, hence not becoming immune to the disease. Then in terms of another advantage of vaccines, they, can, they have improved the quality of life of the population and have led to the eradication of deadly diseases like smallpox. On the other side, however, although unlikely, some inactivated viruses can become reactivated, undergo a shift back to their active form, and that could lead to infection with that particular pathogen. However, that's quite unlikely to happen in normal human beings. Now, you might wonder why vaccines are important and why they are such a hot topic nowadays. They do provide population immunity. They do help with disease control and disease eradication. They are real, relatively cheap to manufacture. They are, safe for, they are safe for most of the population. They allow travel without disease spread and they prevent disease strain on the NHS. So what better way and what, what more efficient way to save people and to help fight the NHS backlog other than getting vaccinated? Now, looking at tips and tricks on how to tackle a question on the topic in case it's gonna come up in your upcoming medical school interview, we have this sample question. We've provided you with this sample question here. And I would invite you to press pause for the video for a couple of minutes, have a quick thought about what you want to, how you how you'd structure your answer for this question, maybe make a couple of notes and then come back, restart the video, and I'll be back giving you our best tips and tricks on how to answer a question like this. Okay, so top interview tips for answering a question like the one we've seen before. First of all, we encourage you to take a moment to think. This is a very, very controversial topic, so make sure to think which ideas are best to include and how to have a very well-balanced answer. Secondly, we would encourage you to cover both sides. 
make sure to mention that you're aware of both sides of the issue and why some people might find those claims true. And thirdly, we encourage you to prove your knowledge. Show that you know the science behind the vaccine and how it is hard to rush science. And actually, whenever someone says a vaccine has been rushed, it's not true. Lastly, you should stay neutral. As it is a very controversial topic and you can get very heated arguments on this, try to keep your own opinions as well as um, try to keep your own opinions as well and only present reasoned arguments. Now, moving on to the last part of our session, looking at the key points for um, the key points to take away from us. First of all, we would strongly encourage you to brush up your knowledge of the immune system. Look at your A-level notes or at a quick YouTube video. That shouldn't take long and that should be scientific enough to, to get you going for your interview. Secondly, we encourage you that, we encourage that for any controversial topic like this, Stay neutral and only state the science and not your own opinion. Then thirdly, if you feel the need for more information, you can always use our website, theaspiringmedics.co.uk. And that's us covering everything that we have, um, everything we've had in mind for today. So thank you. To unlock the rest of the videos in this category, make sure to purchase the Aspiring Medics online interview course. We have over 50 videos covering seven categories, including COVID-19, the NHS and medical ethics. Head on over to www.theaspiringmedics.co.uk today to ace your med school interview.